this video we are going to see quantum mechanical model of an atom. In earlier days it was from, it was the idea that an atom was indivisible one because the word atom is derived from the Greek word atomio and after that the J.J. Thomson cathode ray experiment proved and revealed that an atom consists of negatively charged particle called electron and a positively charged called particle called proton and according to J.J. Thomson an atom is a consists of positive sphere where electrons are embedded in the embedded in that positive sphere like that of seeds present in watermelon but it uh, later it was proved to be wrong after Rutherford alpha ray scattering experiment. Now we are going to see what is Rutherford alpha ray scattering experiment. What is Rutherford alpha scattering experiment is here the alpha particles are passed through a, a thin gold metal foil. Thin gold metal foil okay, the alpha particles are positively charged. Here the sum of the alpha particles are passed through the foil and some of them are deflected, some of them are deflected and a few alpha particles are reflected back to 180 degrees. Some of the alpha particles are alpha particles are passed through and some of them are deflected and some of them are alpha particles were reflected back by angle of 180 degree. From that it had been found that an atom consists of from that from the alpha ray studies it has been found that here the an atom consists of the positively charged sphere called nucleus where the positively charged proton and the neutral neutrons are present around which the negatively charged electrons are circulated. So the as it is the alpha particles are positively charged and attracted by the negatively charged electrons and there is no there is no reaction for the neutron and here as it is and deflected as it is alpha particles are deflected the same charges get deflected in the proton area. So this is the model of an atom revealed by the Rutherford experiment that is now atom consists of positively charged nucleus around which negatively charged electrons are circulating in a path and he could not explain with what energy the electrons are circulating in a path because according to them according to the momentum studies angular momentum studies any particle in a circulatory motion um, <coughs> will lose its energy finally will drop into the central part of the system but here in the case of um, in the model of an atom the electrons are circulating in a path circulating in a path so the failure of Rutherford model is with what energy with what force the electrons are circulating in a path so that is the failure of Rutherford experiment later it was explained by Bohr model of an atom According to Bohr model of an atom, here the center part of the uh, atom is called nucleus where it consists of positively charged proton and neutral neutron and the electrons are circulating in a circulatory path. Here the path of the electron is called the stationary path of an electron is called orbit named as otherwise the electrons are circulating in a particular path or energy level are called orbit. As long as the electron in a particular orbit it is associated with that orbit. As long as the electron in a particular orbit or path it is associated with that path called orbit. The energy level so the orbits are called energy level. Here the first energy level, second energy level, third energy level and fourth energy level. The energy level, the stationary path, orbit are named as KLMN. The number of electron in each energy level is calculated by 2N squared. Number of electrons can be calculated. 
here the energy level or orbit is numbered as n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. K level, L level, M level, N level. As I already said, as long as the electron in a particular orbit, it is associated with that orbit or energy level. For example, if an M electron moving from lower energy level to the higher energy level, it will absorb energy and moving to the higher energy level. For example, if an electron in a particular path coming to the lower energy level, it will lose its energy level. That is the quantum of energy will be lost during the, the loss of energy. So, the energy path or orbit is calculated by the angular momentum mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi. n is the, the energy level and h the Planck's constant and 2 pi the angular momentum. So, the energy difference is calculated by E2 minus E1 H mu, thereby mu can be calculated by E2 minus E1. So, this one is Bohr model of an atom, according to the Bohr model of an atom, an electron is circulating in a path called orbit or energy level, each electron in a particular orbit is associated with the energy level thereby it moves continuously in that particular energy level quantum of energy their absorption also the quantum of absorption so the calculated in terms of angular momentum of an electron